Hello guys, today I will review the open source code of a recently released project called Pan Analytics by Nuno Maduro, Laravel core team member, and he did it together with another core team member, David Hill. And this is quite a small project for analytics for tracking things like impressions, hovers and clicks in your Laravel application without using like Google Analytics or something external. And I want to show the code, at least for now, it's early days, early version 0. Point something, but I want to showcase that code as an example of forward thinking. So they released the version 0 0.1 with some structures, clearly thinking about what project may become in the future. So let's take a look. This is a Laravel package, so we'll take a look at SRC, but you can view SRC similarly how you would do that in app folder of your Laravel application. But if you are releasing a package or a framework for others to use, of course, you need to add more flexibility so others would use it in their preferred way. So already from here, you see a folder called Adapters Laravel. And this is the first thing. Pan is not a Laravel package. It is advertised for Laravel community, but this is PHP package and Laravel is just one of the adapters. Currently the only one, if we take a look inside, there are no other adapters, but the folder structure is ready for that. So that's one example of forward thinking for flexibility. And if we dive inside in HTTP, we see familiar controllers, requests and middleware like Laravel. And if we take a look at the controller of passing the event, this is what Pan Analytics actually does, tracks the events with just one method store. And here we see another example of flexibility and forward thinking. Let me explain. First, strict structure wherever the data comes from. Even here in the dog block, array of specifically name string and type string. And did you know that there's a method request collect, which gets the data into a collection? Here are the dogs of Laravel. So there's request all, but there's also request collect. And then we can call each on that collection and go one by one doing some action. And I know Nuno Maduro is a big fan of actions specifically in this format. So action is a parameter on that store method auto resolved by Laravel, which actually just saves the event into the database with the type. And this is another flexibility example. This is an enum. So currently Pan is tracking three events, hover, click and impression. And how do you ensure that nothing else is passed at the moment, but at the same time give the flexibility. And for that, best example is enum. If we search for the symbol, we see source, enums, event type, all those three defined, kind of hard coded for now, but also giving the flexibility of adding more in the future. Now, if we go to the action class of that create event, so where does it save the data? We see analytics repository and repository pattern Personally, I'm not a big fan of that in Laravel. And even in one of my courses on design patterns in Laravel 11, there is a lesson repository pattern why I don't recommend it. But this is based on the typical example I saw in tutorials and in Laravel community that repository is on top of Eloquent with the idea that maybe in the future it would change the data source from Eloquent to something else. But I've never seen in my life a good example of actually implementing that other source with the same repository. So in most cases, repository is overkill for the future that never happens. At least these are the examples that I saw in Laravel community. But in this case, it's very suitable. Let me show you. Analytics repository is actually an interface which we can find in SRC contracts. Contracts is another word for interfaces. We see analytics repository with the methods of all increment and flush with the idea that currently repository is internal database and all the analytic events are stored in the database. But the idea is clearly for it to be expanded into other ways of saving data, whatever that is in the future, Redis, text files, other database drivers, whatever. But if the developer defines the interface and one implementation, then usually the plan is to add other implementations in the future. So if we go to SRC, Adapters Laravel, and we see repositories, we have one repository, database analytics repository, implementing that analytics repository interface with functions all increment and flush, 
working with database table, with database query builder, not eloquent. So yeah, what I want to emphasize, and I will kind of repeat that again, it's clearly the groundwork for database analytics repository to be the first repository for the future to whatever analytics repository implementing the same three methods with different data source. So for that example, I think repository pattern is brilliant. What else can we find in SRC? Console command of table overriding the symphony component of table to show the interface because you look at the analytics currently in the pan in your console. Then also interesting part is presenters. So how do you present the data to the UI, whatever that UI is? So this is how you define the structure. This is similar to kind of Laravel API resources, eloquent API resources. Just in this case, the data comes to the console table component. So it's not any eloquent or Laravel class, it's just a PHP class of presenter using another structure called value object analytic. And we can find it in another folder called source value objects analytic. And here it is defined what is the data of one analytic event, impressions, hovers, and clicks. Again, another example of defining the structure somewhere, not in the database because we don't have the database structure, the definition of that data in some kind of object which is called value object. And then it is used elsewhere in presenter class that is passed to the table of console component to view the data. I hope you get all the ideas of structure and don't forget enums as well which is all in the PHP and Laravel code strict for now but allowing flexibility in the future. If you're not that familiar with the concept one of the tutorials premium tutorial on Laravel daily it's about DTO value objects and data transfer objects in Laravel with a few examples linking some other resources so I will link that article in the description below. But basically what I wanted to show in this example of Nuno Maduro Pan is this is one of the options how you should think about the foundation of your application if you already have some plans of how it may be probably used by others or yourself in the near future. What do you think? Would you have done something differently than Nunu? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.